Hey, in this video we're gonna take a look how I created the high poly for this belt. And there will be three parts. First is the high poly, then the read topology, and then the texturing. So I'm gonna start off really simple by creating a mask, and then we extract it. And then pushing it out, I'm gonna retopologize it with the Z remesh, so we get a nice clean topology to work with. Now I'm using the polish to get a clean edge. We can also use polish with a layer to have control over the thickness of the belt. So we can just slide that layer up or down to make it thinner or thicker. We need a little gap so we can actually have some overlapping of the belt. I'm just pushing it into shape with the move brush. I'm gonna take it into Maya, so we can work a little bit on modeling. This is nice to just do the complex parts of any model. I'm also gonna put a little cylinder for the buckle that's gonna be there. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back to ZBrush and I'm gonna add some dynamic thickness. We can just mess with settings a bit till it's looking right. I'm also gonna extract a little piece of the belt so we can create a new part of the belt. It's gonna be like the little holder where the belt goes through. Now in ZBrush we can continue to edit this model a little bit more because we have a little bit more control with the move brush. And I like to start off with little cubes and then extract a plane and just model from there. I'm gonna be modeling the buckle now. So as you can see we start off really simple. I'm just working my way through, through a more complex shape. I'm finally adding some thickness by extracting everything. I'm just adding some bevels and smoothing it out to see how it looks. I didn't really like it, so we took a little step back. Then we just mirrored it, added some new thickness, some new baffles, and see how that looks when it's all smoothed out. I'm also making sure to have a duplicate, so we can use this as our low poly. Also the other little piece. Now back in ZBrush, I'm gonna position it with the transpose brush. And then once again back in Maya, I'm gonna work a little bit more on the belt. I'm just gonna extract some pieces and have that twisting. So it's going around the belt itself. And it's just easier to do stuff like this in Maya. So we get a little bit more control. Then we go back to ZBrush to refine it. I'm also making sure to keep an eye on my topology so it's nice and clean. So we're gonna use this as a base for the low poly later. And now I'm just duplicating it and adding a little bit more thickness so it's, we have a layered effect so we have a little thin layer of leather on top of the belt and I'm just going around the model making sure that everything looks fine and has the even thickness and in Maya we can select an edge, bevel it just push those edges back in a little bit so we can create a line for the stitching to go. So we're gonna indent this a little bit. We just push it in a normal down. And then back into ZBrush, you can see how that looks. We have a nice clean line for the stitches. So now we're actually gonna model a stitch. Again, we start off really simple with a cube. We're gonna twist this a bit so we can have like a twisting effect. putting it into ZBrush to do a subdivide. Now you can see how we have a twisting. I made a few duplicates, so we have a little bit more to work with. I'm just gonna select an edge, and then we can convert that edge to a curve. I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. So now we have two spiraling curves. Now we can just add a sweet mesh to it with a tube. Now you can see that we have something that looks like a stitch. Now we can bring it into ZBrush and work a little bit with the modifiers to make it more shaped like a stitch. 
now that stitch line that we put in earlier we can select it convert it to a curve now we can do a sweep mesh to get like uh, planes then we can put a uh, insert brush curve with the stitches on the z brush so now you see that we have some stitches in the line that we created I also go back to Maya and I make the model a little bit more complex by adding some holes Do want to push everything in a little bit so we don't leave a gap because this is going to be a pain when we do the retopology and bake so just move everything a little bit closer i'm going to spend a little bit of time getting a nicer edge on this so i'm just going through the subdivisions polishing and inflating till i get something that's nice and soft that i like I'm gonna go ahead and add my first detailing that's gonna be with the surface to create some noise on that underlying layer. It's just more like a rough ladder. We also do a duplicate and we inflate it on the back side to create some thickness on the back. Got another paneling of leather. Now that we have a nice clean model, we're gonna go in and do some hand sculpting to add some details. I'm just going with the brush and I'm adding some tension to the stitches. You can see I'm just kind of going over the whole model and adding that tension and smoothing it out. Also went ahead and added some bumpiness to it, so it's less perfect. I want to pay extra attention to where the leather is folding to add some extra tension to those areas. I'm also going to go in and curve some damage in. This is kind of like a third leather. This is just gonna give the nice breakup in the final look. Just going over it adding some more damage here and there. And that's pretty much all I did for the high. The recording crashed so it kind of lost a little bit of work but it was like uh, 10 minutes to put in the details. But that's not a complicated process you just go in with some alphas he had some details. This video was pretty sped up just to cover some of the main points. I'll be uploading the full 2 hour process video over at Patreon. So the link's in the description for that. In the next part we're gonna take a look at how to create a game ready model and how to do the bakes. 